How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another video and in this video we are playing Fishing Simulator. Now I'm going to be showing you five tips in order to get started really fast. One of these, two of these are kind of late game, like mid game items, but they are still very helpful to know. But with that out of the way, let's get right into the video. So the first tip is when you're fishing, let me fish real fast to show you. When you're fishing, whenever the bubbles start popping up, there we go. This thing right here, the rarer the pet, the faster it moves. So if you want to know like if a pet's super rare, it'll be one of the like slow ones. Like that one's a rare. As you can see, it's the rare one out of this pack, which is the third best you can get. And if I can try to get a common, it'll look a little bit slower. Okay, this is the uncommon right here. So you notice it's a little bit slower than the last one. So it requires a little bit less clicks in order to get. And let's see if we can get the common real fast to show you how slow that one is. Here we go. And this one is a common. So as you can see, it goes very slow. But it still goes a decent speed. But it goes very, very slow. So if you are looking for a specific one, like the epics or legendaries, and trying not to fish a trout to fill up your inventory with, you'll know what f fish you're getting. So this is the second tip. This works alongside the first one. But if you're fishing and you don't like the fish you're getting, you can just unequip. You can just unequip the rod instead of waiting for it to fall all the way down. You can just unequip it and refish again instead of waiting for it to go all the way down in order to cancel the fish. So if you get a trout like that one, this one's a trout. Well, I don't want this one. So instead of waiting for it to go down, I can just unequip it and then retry again. That'll speed up your fishing a little bit so that way you can get more fish faster. Now for the third tip, you can, when you're fishing, if you look into the water, this works at nighttime too, so that you can see like fish in the dark areas. What you want to do is you, when you're fishing, you can actively see the fish from underwater. Let's see what you're trying to get. So if you don't want this fish, um, you can just choose not to fish it and wait for the next one to catch. So you see, well, I don't like that one. So let's wait. And another trap. Yeah, I'm not getting anything good here. So you just pick it up and send it out again. But you can actively see the fish you're going to get. And just to prove that every time this is the swordfish, I will get the swordfish whenever I fish this one in. And as you can see, there we go. Legendary swordfish, exactly as it showed. So as the fourth tip, as soon as you get the deck, one of Deckard's boats, so let's say you're already level 15 and you already have the Eruption Island. Well, let's say you want to fish at the Shadow Island. Well, you can take your boat and head there in order to get better fish. But do keep in mind that you're not technically allowed to head over to the islands until you reach the level. But as a really cool trick, if you still want to be able to fish there, you won't be able to go to the island, but you will be able to fish by throwing your rod across the barrier. So as you can see, it's across the barrier. So let me fish this fish to make sure it works. And we'll pat, we caught a common Anchored Redfish, which if I head down to the Shadow Island, Anchored Redfish, as you can see. So this is the, this is the Shadow Island, by the way, as you can see from the map, right next to it. I actively have the fish now, which is amazing. And even if you get the wall to go over there, you can fish it a little bit easier. If you can, we cancel that, you can throw it into the area where that fish is supposed to spawn. And if I pull this fish in real fast, I think it's another one too. There's another anchorage. So you can actively fish fish that aren't, and they're not even my level. I'm only level 18 and I'm getting level 25 fish, which is amazing. Now, the only downside of this is if you're using the, like a really low backpack, like the first one, it won't last that long because you don't have the inventory room. So I definitely would recommend waiting to do this until you have like the boat and the like first backpack you can buy which gives a total of like, I think 28 slots, including the hotbar. I'm pretty sure that's how many it gives. But around there, so that's a pretty good amount, especially if you use the earlier glitches in order to get ones like the like legendaries, like the snapper or something, or even the barracuda. Oh, don't even try. You can't even go below it either. It, it goes lower than you can actually swim because there's an invisible wall blocking people from swimming too low. And for my ma last major tip, this one's yet again, more a little bit late game, like mid game or whatever. You definitely want to buy rods because I don't really think it explains it, 
But if you buy the first one for like a thousand coins, you can you can get rods that have skills. Like the th default one has no skill, as you can see. But like as you can see, I've opened three. I've been pretty unlucky with it. But like this baseball bat rod gives three percent more strength, so that means you can fish and fish better, and five percent more reeling speed on the umbrella rod. Now these two alone aren't too good, but like I'm pretty sure it's either uncommon or rare. There is a fishing rod that gives you extra fish luck that I'm I'm personally trying to get that lets you fish rare fishes faster. So instead of fishing a hundred fish and getting one legendary, you get like 50 fish and one of them will be a legendary, for example. But anyway, guys, I do hope this tutorial did help you out because this game is actually a lot of fun. This is actually one of the nicest fishing simulators I've seen. And I've played a lot of them just to see. They're all normally the same, but this one's different. So if you haven't played it, make sure to go play it. It's a ton of fun. And hopefully they'll add where you can trade rods later and we'll give out some rods to people because that'll be a lot of fun. But I do hope you all enjoyed this video and I will see you all next time. Peace.